guys welcome to the channel we're going to be having a look at ludwig aberg here uh, my god this guy is an absolute flusher of the golf ball he just has not missed the center of the club face and uh, he is a bomber with the driver as well so pretty much a force to be reckoned with from t to green he uh, he's had a phenomenal career he's was uh, number one in the world amateur for quite a while he's only been pro for what seven or eight months certainly less than a year uh, and in that time he's what had four professional wins i think two on the swedish tour i'm gonna say one on the dp world tour uh he had one on the pj tour and then of course that phenomenal uh, Ryder cup performance that he put in in september uh, I'm really interested to see how he's going to perform in the majors this year, given that, and again, this is quite remarkable, he's never played in a major. Um, he's a very long, very straight hitter of the golf ball. So uh, I'll be honest, I fancy his chances in one of them. But look, let's uh, let's take a look at this guy's beautiful golf swing and see if there's anything that we can uh, pick up, learn, or uh, yeah, just spot that we think is quite interesting. So we're going to draw a couple of lines Onto Ludwig, uh, we'll take one uh, on the top of his head and one on the side. Uh, we'll put one uh, in or around the touch line. And then we'll just draw uh, one up the shaft. Um, just while we're doing that, actually, one thing to keep an eye out for Ludwig the next time you are watching him on TV. He's got a really interesting little, uh, little pre-move that he has. Um, almost like a little bit of a Matt Wolf pre-impact move, I think, where, you know, he drags the, he has the hands very, very close uh, to the thighs and then he'll sort of address the club and, you know, pull the, uh, address the ball and pull the trigger. So, um, yeah, I, I think there's a reason why he does that, but let's get into that uh, uh, shortly. So, uh, first of all, setup really cool. Uh, nothing much to say about that. He, um, Obviously, a very athletic player. A lot of the guys coming out of college at the minute uh, take their uh, fitness very, very seriously. So Ludwig's a stud, that's for sure. I would say that there are a few classic-looking elements within his swing. It's not all modern and athletic. So um, let's dive into it. He uh, takes the club away very, very nicely. He manages to keep the um, club head outside the club hands uh, quite nicely certainly up until this position anyway uh, and in this position it's pretty textbook you know he's got the club head directly um, in line with his uh, hands but shaft parallel one of the reasons why i think ludwig and his swing just looks you know so pretty and so simple is he just does a very very good job of matching uh, up a lot of his angles all the way throughout the swing. So what I mean by that is, you know, you can see here his uh, spine angle is probably like 58 degrees. Um, his club head at this point is, you know, not a million miles off that, 50, 57, 58. Um, so very, very matched up um, with some key angles. He's already loaded into this trail hip at this position as well uh, and he's uh, from here he's just going to lift the shaft sort of goes through the trail forearm uh, lift the arms uh, at the top of the swing the arms get sort of into a nice uh, deep position so lead arm sort of working across the shoulder plane if not slightly above and then uh, his trail arm uh, is kind of you know, behind him a little bit, I would say. So the trail elbow outside of the trail hip. Um, not really an issue. There's an awful lot of great ball strikers that get into this position. Actually looks a little Maury McElroy, if you ask me. Um, Scotty Scheffler has uh, the same sort of move, but sort of slightly higher hands. Um, and then what we see with the club face is, I mean, it's fairly neutral. Um you know, possibly neutral to strong here, but I think uh, one of the things I noticed straight away is he has quite a, you know, I would call that uh, neutral looking, um, you know, lead wrist here. It's certainly not in that bowed position that we see from a lot of the modern day players, you know, your John Rahms and your uh, Dustin Johnsons and Colin Murakawa's. So, 
you know he's got um he's got a little bit of flex in uh, in that lead wrist which is quite interesting uh what he has done in the backswing that you'll that you'll notice is you know started to kind of move away from this headline a little bit so it's only a couple of inches at the top of backswing um but that's going to increase as he comes into downswing and there's a, a good reason for that but before we get to that um he makes this beautiful shallowy move as he sort of shifts his weight forward in transition you know so the club head is just sort of going to work very very nicely in this direction behind you know the hands um and that i mean it's not an overly aggressive shallowy move i would say but it just gets him into this very very nice position at left arm parallel and you know we want to talk about matchups jesus how's this for matchups look at this i mean you know he is bang on 51 degrees which is the uh you know the plane of the shaft or the angle of the shaft at, uh, at dress so you know you're getting yourself in this position halfway down there isn't really much that can go wrong uh, to be honest with you so i mean it's a beautiful move and then you can see here that he starts to back away from this line even more and i think that one of the reasons he does that is to give himself i mean look at that position Oof. um one of the reasons that he does this is to give himself tons of room you know in here to be able to swing his hands and arms underneath his chest and when he does that you know you can see why he's one of the best ball strikers on the pga tour right now he manages to deliver that shaft bang on um you know the plane at which he set up and there are, i'll tell you now there aren't many uh you know tour players that are able to do this guys it's very very hard to do i can only think of you know some great players in the past that have managed to do it i mean trevino was probably the best at it uh but after that uh, you know sergio garcia totally different sort of you know move in the backswing with Sergio, but he was managed to sort of return the shaft in a very similar position. And, um, and Ludwig here has managed to get his, you know, hands quite close to his, uh, his thighs there, which I think is the reason he does this kind of little preset move. Um, everything's in front of him nicely here, very square face, um, you know, through impact. And then, you know, if you're in this position, you can just sort of turn and burn, uh, and let it go. And you can see as he comes through there again, <laughs> matching the you know the shaft plane up um uh at this position and then it just sort of comes through into a, a beautiful finish so you know what a golf swing uh, certainly from down the line i think if we were to um take a quick look at how he moves uh face on so we've got i mean we'll just come over to this now i mean it, it's a shorter iron that's for sure he's probably got like a four five iron in this video whereas here i think he's got like a wedge or something but there's probably still a couple of things that we can we can spot here very narrow stance uh, maybe he's playing a sort of a three-quarter shot or something but um that's not good is it so let's just draw one in his head here the side of his head um what are we seeing so i mean grip's quite neutral left hand is a maybe a touch on the strong side but you know not um not anything like a Matt Fitzpatrick. Uh nice setup, ball in the back of his stance. You'll see the um you know, he's kinda got the shaft playing there at eighty-four uh, degrees and anything usually between you know eighty and eighty seven degrees is sort of the number that you want to be uh, aiming for. Uh and let's see, starts to sort of take this away. A little bit of a shift. Uh off the ball all great ball strikers do this and then as he sort of moves into backswing this is quite interesting so he um you know i mean he's got some good angles going on here with uh trail hip getting hot, a little bit higher than the lead hip which again is a sort of trademark of all very very good ball strikers um i guess the one thing that i'm noticing here is you know, he does a very good job if we were to draw a line in the center of his pelvis here and center of his stem. You know, he does a very, very good job of sort of staying stacked on top of this. And um, 
there's a there's a measurement in golf called the sway gap which is effectively just the difference between you know how much sway your uh your pelvis has and how much sway your uh, you know your chest has your torso has and um again a lot of very very good players tend to sort of keep you know those two things stacked up on top of each other he's shifted away a little bit onto his right side um and then as he gets to the top of the backswing, he's just going to make a nice, uh, pretty subtle shift. Hands and arms work down very, very nicely. And at left arm parallel, he's kind of got, you know, the club uh, shaft at about 96 degrees. Um, he's going to continue just to work through uh, this wall here. All of the weight is on the left hand side. And then you can already see there. Like his, um, you know, coming into impact, the the club face is already pretty much square. So he's literally just going to, you know, rotate through. And you can see this just beautiful um, compression line that he's got there. That the, you know, the shaft and the trail arm. I mean, that's a pretty textbook. Um, and then from there, it's just a case of coming through into a nice finish. So wonderful stuff. I do wonder if I've got... Uh, a slightly different video of Ludwig that we can have a look at so that we're not looking at face on image of the uh, you know of just the wedge so here's one with um with driver let's just sort of take a look so obviously yeah, much wider stance as you'd expect um let's draw some lines on here actually So wider stance, again, that grip is, uh, probably looks a little bit stronger there, actually. It's quite interesting. <clears throat> and as he shifts into his right side, I mean, it's just a beautiful, um, you know, beautiful movement of his lower body there. He, one of these players where he manages to keep, you know, this sort of angle, the lead knee doesn't really kick in, um, you know this way too much to be able to do that and also stay quite stacked you've got to have a lot of flexibility in uh, in the lower body particularly hamstrings uh but yeah i mean he's getting 90 degrees shoulder turn takes it to the top and then again he's going to shift into his left side still staying you know quite on top of each other here he's not really um backing out the shot to give him um you know to give himself time or anything he doesn't really need to but again look at this sort of line of compression up through up through the shaft head hasn't really moved forward a huge amount but he's managed to shift his weight i mean you know a lot a lot of power in that swing that's for sure uh ludwig aberg what a talent this guy's going to be um thanks for stopping by guys feel free to hit the like and subscribe button and uh, we'll be back with you with some more swing videos, swing analysis videos uh, and some other content soon.